Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb and Aviation Consumer. In our previous product minute on Jefferson's mobile flight deck, we gave you a general overview of the product, and in this brief video, we'll take a closer look at the details. Mobile flight deck is actually set up to be a route-based chart management system using Jefferson's end route and approach plates. It couldn't be much simpler to operate. At the lower left of the touchscreen are two icons. Touching the end route icon brings up the flight planning page. Just key in your departure airport and your destination, then touch apply and the route is drawn in right on the map. If you have alternates in mind, just key those into these two blanks and the app will load them into your chart list. You can add as many waypoints as you want to your flight plan and the course line will be updated accordingly. Eventually, Jepson plans to add rubber banding to the app as well. Although Mobile FD isn't intended as a moving map navigator, a GPS-equipped iPad will geo-reference aircraft position on the charts and plates. Speaking of plates, as you can see, Mobile FD produces a list of all the procedures you're likely to need on your flight. We'll cover these in detail in the next video. Mobile FD builds its charts from a database. These are vector images, not PDF. That means you can customize them to suit your needs. This control menu on the far right allows you to add detail or declutter as necessary. For example, the bottom icon switches terrain on and off, and you can select airspace, nav aids, waypoints, airways, and airports. And as with most iPad apps, you can pinch scale and finger scroll the charts. You can also select high or low altitude and routes. In the next video, we'll take a look at how Mobile Flight Deck handles approach plates. For AvWeb and Aviation Consumer, I'm Paul Bertarelli reporting. Thanks for watching.